Okay, let's drop down the sea level for an unforgettable boat ride. Matthew, this is a beautiful day. It's a gorgeous day. We've got a little bit of swell running. The swell on these chilly waters is a very familiar one to Christo Brand, author of Nelson Mandela, My Prisoner, My Friend. So this is a Robert Allen boat. That is the one who runs for Roman and now is. It was a cargo boat in 1976 when Christo made his first trip to Robben Island to guard Nelson Mandela daily for the next 14 years. It quickly became a father-son relationship, but the father was behind bars. You kept it secret that you were friends with Mandela. Yes, because you could have not shown that you become friends with him. I grew up with African people where we was equal on the farms, but in the cities was discrimination apartheid. And the apartheid government, enforcing racial segregation, sent Nelson Mandela to prison for life. That is Robben Island in front of you, and that is where the prisoners work, like Mandela work in a limestone quarry. To see Mandela every day locked up in a cell, four o'clock, five o'clock, we lock them up, open up in the morning. See them standing up from the floor because it slipped on the cement floor on two mat. It was also very painful for me to see old person being treated like that. What made you continue to do it? I didn't want to take up arms to fight the, the terrorists at that time who were fighting for freedom. The best alternative was to become a prison warden. And then they sent me to Robben Island. It occurred to me that perhaps that elderly man who was locked in that cold cement cell had a prayer answered when an 18-year-old boy named Christo showed up. Coming up, how Nelson Mandela coped behind bars. In the morning, because it was black.